Hello, fourth grade scientists. Plants and animals respond to stimulus. Stimulus is things outside our body and inside our body. And I'm gonna do a PowerPoint presentation to explain that to you. And then following the PowerPoint presentation, um, after you watch this video, click on the Seesaw Activity to answer some questions about responses to stimulus. All right, how animals and plants respond to stimulus and how that response helps them survive, grow, and or, well, survive, grow, and reproduce. Here we go. So plant and animal response to stimulus. And so this is all part of our internal and external plant structures. We aren't gonna worry about that. But I want you to think about this. Describe a situation in which you were immediately scared or reacted quickly to something. Think about a sudden clap of thunder. All right, what do you do? Or a loud noise that you suddenly hear, what happens? Why do you think you reacted quickly or immediately to that situation. So what we're talking about here is you're reacting to stimulus. Stimulus is any change in an organism's environment that causes the organism to react. Stimuli is just the plural, more than one stimulus. All right, so stimulus is one, stimuli is a bunch of things. There are two types of stimuli, internal stimuli, and external stimuli. All right, internal's inside of us, external is outside. Oh, there it is, external stimulus. A stimulus that comes from outside an organism. Examples of that, hey, a person feels cold, so they put on a sweater. A snake strikes at a mouse, so the mouse runs away. A dog feels warm in the sun, so it goes to lay in the shade. So you get too cold, you put on another layer. Another animal comes at another animal, they run away. If you're too warm, get out of the sunlight. Internal stimulus. Internal stimulus is a stimulus that comes from inside an organism. An example, you have the flu, a virus. So, in order to combat that, your body responds by running a fever. A horse feels thirsty, so it drinks some water. Your cat is tired, so it takes a nap. These are all internal stimulus. Response is the effect how an organism reacts to a stimulus and results in a change in behavior. Examples, cold animals move into a sunny area, try to warm themselves up. Think of the frogs coming out of the water and sitting on stones or sitting up on the lily pad, warm themselves up. Animals attempt to find food when they are hungry. A dog pants when they become too warm. You sweat when you become too warm. You hear a loud noise. You might jump or blink. Those are examples. Do plants respond to stimuli? Sure they do. Tropism. Plants growth response toward or away from a stimulus. There's positive tropism. And so what they'll do is they'll move toward the stimulus. There's negative trop tropism, where they move away from the stimulus. And so they might try to send out roots away from something that's harmful. Or if it needs to get more water, they'll send the roots deeper into the ground or toward the water area. Phototropism, the orientation of a plant or other organism in response to light, growing toward the source of a light. So we see this a lot of times with our plants. When we put them on a windowsill, they'll kind of lean one way. So that's why we have to go and 
turn our plants and rotate them so that way they continue to grow straight because if not they'll can they'll grow in that bent fashion you might see that with certain plants around your house if they're in a shady part uh, like by a garage or a shady part of your house you'll see them kind of bend and reach toward the sunlight because after all sunlight is one of a plant one of the plants basic needs so with that phototropism what we see is we see the plants growing toward the light now we have gravitropism gravitropism is a plant's response that tells the root the roots to grow down into the soil so it's a positive response to gravity and the stem to grow up away from the earth in a negative response to gravity so you see this is also called geotropism so really what you'll notice is like if we put a bean seed in a plastic baggie with a paper towel and you'll see as the root pops out the root will go down and if you leave it in there for a while the stem will pop up and that happens with all of, all of our plants the roots want to go down with the pull of gravity because they know the water's down there and the stem wants to go against gravity because it knows that the sun is up in the sky and they want to get the leaves up to the sun and so we can see that do plants respond to stimulus again yes twining the motion of vines the natural tendency of the vine plants to grow around objects that it they come in contact with they'll grow around a tree to pull it up to the top so that way the leaves can get high enough to get the most sunlight we see this quite often in rainforests but we do have plants around here ivy will do that in the forests around here some grape wild grape leaves and grape vines sorry grape vines will grow to the top and they'll kind of grow up through the trees i have some at my house that grow up through the pine trees and so they'll grow to get that sunlight and so anastic response this is with our venus fly traps and also um next week you'll see a video about a mimosa plant or a sensitive plant it's that plant i used to have in the science lab when um, you touch the leaves and the leaves would all turn in what happens is it's like an insect is crawling across it or an animal comes in contact with it it shuts right up venus flytrap is a perfect example of that so can you think of any other examples of plants and or animals responding to stimuli well you're going to need to do that because you've got to think of and give me two examples of animals responding to stimulus and two examples of plants responding to stimulus and how do those responses to stimulus help them to survive grow and reproduce by that that them i was talking about how does it help plants and animals but because they both are helped by responding to stimulus